Hello, my name is Mie Bakuya, and today you are watching the new Hebrew and Hawkeye series, Life of a Bank Kid. In this series, I mainly just talk about my personal experiences and stuff I've done while being in the Hebrew band. So if you haven't read the title or you literally just missed my intro, I am in the Hebrew band. The main instrument I play is bass clarinet. I can also play contra alto, contra bass clarinet. And for marching season, I play the B flat clarinet. Um, side note about that, I did not know this because I don't really know stuff about band, like, in general. Like, I only know stuff about Hebron. Like, any other school, I don't know anything else. But, apparently, Hebron is, like, the only school that, like, doesn't march a bass clarinet. Instead, we march berry saxes, which is interesting. I didn't know that was, like, a weird thing. I thought that was, I thought that was normal, but I guess not. But, yeah, so for marching season... I play B-flat, uh, that's what I've always done. I've never played bass while marching. Speaking of marching shows, I am a senior right now. So my freshman year was La Suerte, but that was COVID year if you remember. So if you didn't know, COVID was kind of a thing in 2020. So I did not march La Suerte because my mother was quite concerned about just like safety. So I did virtual band, which was like, let me tell you right now, do not ever do virtual band. It's just like, it's a horrible experience because you're in a Zoom meeting and you're all on mute and a director just calls on you and is like, okay, can you play this music for me? And then you play in front of everybody while everyone's on mute watching you and it's horrible. It was, it was very scary and I don't want to go back to that time. Anyways, I didn't march the swear tape. So my sophomore year though, I, that was my first year marching and that was pen striped. And let me tell you, that's like a crazy way to start marching for your first year that was a very big moment in my life um but i won't talk about it too much here but just know that was my first year marching then my second year was last year which was odyssey fm and that was also a pretty good show most people don't really like it but like to me marching is marching i don't care so much about it like i just do it for the heck of it hey i have fun marching uh we're all out there sweating and dying and playing like 16th note runs i really don't care whether someone thinks my show is good or not but anyways so that was last year and this year is grand Nats year and legally i don't think i'm allowed to share too much about it so i'm not saying anything about it just know that this year is a big year especially since it's my senior year and it's grand Nats year and on that note this year is also a very special year for me because i'm on the leadership team so i don't know if this is just a thing at hebron or if like this is a thing at other schools like i said i don't know anything about other schools but at hebron instead of just you can't just like volunteer and become a leader right away you have to like do actual tryouts it's like going for like a position in football or something you need to like actually show you're good at something before just getting the spot so for leadership tryouts it's during the summer break it's like right after the school year ends and then it's leadership tryouts for the next year basically it's to see if you're good at marching and good at playing music and good at band now for me personally i think i can play music pretty well but when it comes to marching i was just a little more concerned only because think about it it was half a year since I haven't marched and it was the end of the year too. So it was right after concert season. So I had not marched in half a year. So I was kind of rusty with, you know, my technique, but like, so was everyone else. So I wasn't too scared. So all the leaders, all, everyone that's trying out, it's a huge group of kids, right? And we all had to wear like the same uniform, which let me just say right now, our uniforms, like our summer uniforms are so ugly. I mean, for me personally, like they don't, it doesn't look good. It looks, it looks bad. And so for marching, we had to, we were in like groups of like four and then we all had to do the same marching technique and just show it. And the directors like watch, they're literally like judges. It's like X Factor and they all watch you and they have these little clipboards and they're writing stuff in. And it was like so scary. You literally have to ignore that though. Like I literally remember I blacked out when I was marching. I don't remember how it went. Like I didn't even think like, oh, I think I did good or I think I did bad. I was out. I was so in the game that I wasn't even in the game. I was just not thinking at all. I was just like i have to get this right but actually i have some video footage of my marching technique when i was doing tryouts because my friend michael roman brown so the directors told us before we did the tryouts don't have your phones out you shouldn't be like ignoring this because you know you're doing tryouts is basically like taking a test and watching people before you take a test and then you take the test after them so they wanted you to like be prepared and like not be slacking off or whatever but my old friend michael decided he would get his phone out and record me while i was marching at the time i was like what the heck because let me remind you i don't look good in this video and i look 
like I look goofy but you know now it's like benefits me because now I can show you guys what I looked like when I was marching so this is the video um I'll just let that like play for a bit but yeah so that was me just like marching and honestly the video is kind of shaky but I think it's like all right and what do you know my guess was right because I made the leadership team so you might be thinking now oh hooray me I made the leadership team now it's done right no you're not ever done when you're in the Hebrew band because like I said you have to be in the game like right out the door and so after I made the leadership team like I celebrated for like one second and then after that it was like straight to working another thing about being on the leadership team is you need to get something called section shirts basically at Hebron they want every section in the Hebron band to have their own like t-shirt with a theme and everything and so I decided, hey, I'll step up and I'll make the t-shirts this year since I'm a leader and the girl that did them last year was a senior, so she graduated. So I was like, why not? I'll do it. So that was the whole process in itself. I remember we had to first come up with a theme and then once we had the theme down, then I had to create a whole design based on that. And it was really iffy because the directors didn't want like any copyright stuff. So I like drew up a whole thing on myself just so like I wouldn't get copyrighted. And then after that, I had to find a manufacturer to like, you know, print the t-shirts so I can get them and give them to the kids but yeah it was like a whole thing and that was fine like that was all on my own and I can work fine independently but yeah in terms of money I had no money at all so I didn't have the money to print stuff out like print out the t-shirts and I wasn't about to like do this out of pocket because I talked to the girl who made the shirts last year she told me like how horrible it was she told me how she lost like literally like so much money people wouldn't pay her back and I was like I'm not going broke over band, like the band fees are enough. So I decided, okay, we're really gonna badger kids about paying me because I need money to get shirts. If you don't give me money, you're not getting a shirt. And if I don't give you a t-shirt, no one's gonna be happy. So please give me money. And I felt low key kind of bad only cause I don't like asking for money. But this time it was like, it was either I asked for money or I go broke and pay for myself. Also to help with the budgeting stuff, we also had a bake sale, which was, that was pretty fun. It was like way too hot though. Like I remember literally like the bakeries we made, like we made like muffins and stuff. They were literally like sweating, like in the bags we put in them because like it was so hot. So with the money we got from the bake sale, along with the money that we got from all the kids in the section, it was actually enough money to to pay for all the shirts so i was really happy because a you know i was finally done with all the shirt business b i didn't have to pay for myself and i didn't have to use my own money for shirts that i'm not even gonna wear so i was pretty happy with that another thing we did during the summer besides just fundraising we did some summer sectionals and we had some lunches together and all that stuff and the whole point of doing those things was to invite the freshmen the incoming freshmen and like, be like hey guys let's like all just be a section and be friends and like chill and be together normally like middle schoolers are really shy and quiet and they don't really talk to like older kids but it was really sad because whenever we had these like sectionals or these lunches literally none of the middle schoolers would come and literally they were like excluding us and so that was kind of a hit to our egos not gonna lie but now that school started like now they have to come to school and i think it's a little bit better okay i know i was just ranting like five seconds ago about how difficult it is dealing with freshman kids but in actuality it's like way better this year than it's been in the past like two years of being in band but that's why i wanted to be on the leadership team this year because i didn't want to just be on the sidelines doing nothing witnessing you know people trying their best to get people to work when i do nothing you know i want to help out so that's why i'm on the leadership team this year and it is like considerably better we're actually trying Crying, we're showing up and overall it's just a more positive experience and even though it's only been a few months of band and only like one month of school so far i'd say i have a pretty good feeling about just overall this whole year i feel like it'll be pretty good i don't know well guys i'm gonna end the video here i have way more stories to tell but i'm gonna save that for next time when i have more experiences and more time to share things but yeah Please check out the Hebron Hawkeye website. Check out any articles and any podcasts and other videos we have. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.